For breakfast, I'm making an easy, nutritious oatmeal. In a bowl, add half cup of rolled oats and water, then cook it in the microwave for one minute. half cup of soy milk, your choice of sweetener. I added brown sugar and creamy cinnamon honey. I mixed that well together, then I added the berries, peanut butter, flax meal, and I added the sliced banana. This bowl has protein, healthy fats, and plenty of fiber. It's hearty and warming for the winter and so easy to make. back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Brenda Edith and I like to film feel good styled vlogs and videos about lifestyle and wellness. So if you're into that kind of thing, please support my channel by clicking subscribe. Now in regards to lifestyle and wellness, today's video is a what I eat in a day, easy vegan meals. I used to be vegan for almost four years. However, recently due to personal health reasons, I am no longer vegan. I still support the vegan community. I love what they do and how they continue to inspire the world to eat more plant-based foods. And in fact, if I had to put a percentage on my diet, like how much I eat of plant-based foods, I still consume about 80% of plant-based foods. So there's that. But as far as the video goes, you already saw that I ate a good old bowl of rolled oats. I eat rolled oats because they are not as processed as quick oats. I also prefer to be in control of what's in my oatmeal. So I like to make sure I put a good amount of sugar because those instant packets of oatmeal that a lot of people consume, nothing wrong with that, but those do have a lot of sugar in them. And I'm snacking on an apple, by the way. This is my first snack after I had breakfast. So it's been a few hours already and I'm just now hungry. So that just comes to show you that that bowl that I made this morning has good protein in it you want to make sure that you have a balanced meal in the morning in this situation it was just about eating a good old bowl of oatmeal so i had it i think it was like a half cup of rolled oats that i put in there i also put in some soy milk water peanut butter and i also topped it with berries and banana i love berries they're full of antioxidants and fiber and antioxidants is something that everybody should be consuming every day because every day we're surrounded by environmental toxins i also added flax meal flax meal is amazing it aids in constipation in digestive issues but that is all depending on one's personal health journey. I am not a health doctor, disclaimer there, but from my research, flax meal is rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids, which is also really good for your brain health. Let me get another bite of this. So flax seed, it's rich in fiber, which also may aid in weight loss. So if you're looking to lose weight, consider adding flax meal into your meals. Right now I'm snacking on an apple, but I am ready for lunch. So let's get in the kitchen because I'm going to show you how I cook my favorite buffalo cauliflower taco. For lunch, we're making buffalo cauliflower tacos. Make this recipe easier by purchasing pre-cut and washed cauliflower florets. The packages here are equivalent to one medium cauliflower. Toss with a half a bottle of your favorite buffalo sauce. Mix well until all florets are evenly coated. 
Then add one tablespoon of grapeseed oil, more of the buffalo sauce, and mix well again. And the time on a lined cookie sheet, add the cauliflower and roast in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes in 410 degrees. All right, so cauliflower is in the oven and it's roasting. But meanwhile, I'm gonna snack on some pretzels and a little bit of peanut butter because why not? It's like the best combination. So I have the apple, but I wanted a little something more, so with peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Comment below. Do you love peanut butter? I just dip it in there and it's just so good. Perfect. For the coleslaw, add two cups of sliced cabbage, half cup of shredded carrots, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise, half teaspoon of sea salt and mix well together. Cauliflower is done, heat up yellow corn tortillas on medium high heat. Assemble the tacos by simply adding in the roasted cauliflower, coleslaw mix, cilantro, and avocado. These tacos are high in fiber, protein, and taste super duper delicious. All right, tacos are done. Taste test. Let's taste these tacos. Delicioso. The recipe will be linked below. Oh my god. I finished eating the delicious tacos. I'm getting ready to cook dinner. I'm gonna be cooking bean soup. And I know that sounds boring, but beans are really good for you as well with um, onion and garlic. And we're going to have that with quinoa, cilantro, lemon. It's gonna be really cozy and delicious and just so healthy and just a really good way to end the day. And it's gonna take a couple of hours for that to cook. So that is why I'm gonna get a head start. And unfortunately, I've already lost some daylight because here in the United States, on this side of the country, it gets dark. And it's only, it's gonna be four o'clock in like 10 minutes, but yeah, it's getting dark in here, so I apologize that you guys won't be seeing the video in the adorable daylight that the wonderful sun lets us borrow. Now, I do want to say that I did soak the beans overnight, and actually, the longer you soak them, the better, because they're more sensitive with your digestion, and also your body gets to absorb more of the vitamins, minerals, and all of the nutrients that the beans have to offer your body, your body will be able to absorb that better if you soak them longer than just overnight. For dinner, I'm cooking a black bean quinoa soup in a rich garlic and onion broth. Start by adding four cups of water to your pot. Bring to a boil, then add the pre-soaked rinsed beans into the pot. Slice up one fourth of a brown onion and add it along with one head of garlic to the pot of beans. While that comes to a boil, cook the quinoa. In a pot, add two cups of water, one cup of quinoa, bring to a boil, cover and cook for 15 minutes. Now that the beans are boiling, cover and cook in a low simmer for two hours. It's dark outside already and for some reason every time it gets dark like daylight savings here in California I get sleepy so I did make myself a cup of coffee very dark I did add the dairy-free almond creamer which is this one here and then I also have an apple turnover they're accidentally vegan they're from a grocery store out here called sprouts and if I'm wrong, let me know, but I know this one, I'm pretty sure it's accidentally vegan. This is a snack within my What I Eat In A Day video. Now that the beans and quinoa are done cooking, into a serving bowl add the cooked beans and quinoa, top with avocado and cilantro. 
dinner time. I'm pretty excited to try a good old bean soup because it is real nutritious. Lots of antioxidants, fiber, phytonutrients, everything that your body needs, especially when you're plant-based. This is a balanced meal because quinoa is a complete protein and beans already have protein. So this is a high protein dinner by adding avocado, the healthy fat, and a fresh herb cilantro. So I'm gonna taste this. That's good. Really simple. I'll have the recipe below. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll see you guys after dinner. And that's a wrap. I made myself a cup of ginger tea to end the night. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you found some inspiration to include more plant-based foods into your everyday meals. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more inspirational videos. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye!